um, Nick Newman, um, Tom Jones. What, John what's, Smith. What's, your, what's your what's your suggestion? What do we do? Well, um, all these names were attached to these addresses between 2004 and 2009. So I think we can put two and two together on those. Mm hmm. Especially the ones in Illinois. How do we force? How do we force the federal bureaucrats to do their job? Well, they're not going to. Well, how do we bring this man to justice? Someone's going to have to have the courage in government, you know, to use the information that 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 we have. I mean, my information has actually been verified and also corroborated, you know, you know, by another person who, you know, is a private investigator. And she has 20 years' worth of experience in this business. Is that Susan? Uh, yes, sir, it is. It's oh. Ms. Susan Daniels. Yes, okay, she's been a guest on the program. All right. Yes, sir. And um, initially, and if you know Susan like I do, you know that she's, um, you know that she's very thorough in everything she does. I mean, she even sent me evidence so I could corroborate it from my findings. And a lot of, say about maybe 95% of it is a match. What were your thoughts about the um, digital birth certificate they put on the White House website? I made a better one over the weekend. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually put I, I, I put my name and my, my signatures on everything. Uh huh. And um, this is what they did. Okay, they they took a background. Okay, which is which is a safety background. You know, it's a, it's a safety background. You know, you know, you know that they put on official documents. Okay. And um, actually, whenever I process checks, you know, for um, for, my, for my clients, whenever mm -hmm. I go to pay them, well, I use that security background, but mine's blue on my checks. And, um, you know, instead of the green one. And I get those in, in blank sheets of paper, you know, from, from the companies I get, you know, to, you know, to process my checks, you know, you know for you know, when I go to do my payouts. And um, what they did was they took a, a document and layered it on top of the, you know, the blank screen or on top of the blank page. And what they did was they just basically cut and pasted. You know, they, they just basically you know, cut and pasted, and then they did it transparent. So what you do is, you know, you take the, um, you cut and paste the background, shrink it to fit, take that background and move it over whatever you want it to cover. Then, on top of that background, you put a text box. Inside of that text box, you key in what you, you type in what you want to type in, but remember, you have to use the proper font. And the font that they used was actually, it's called a, um, oh, it's a typeset font. It's a carbon font. That's what it is. It's a carbon type font. Mm -hmm. It's a font that they used. And I had to blow it up to like six to eight hundred percent in order to, so that way I could look at the um, the obvious, um, you know, the obvious pixels. Um, what when a when a when a computer does it, it does it differently, you know, than than when a typewriter does. Because you know how when you type, you know, with a manual typewriter like they did in the '60s, mm -hmm. um, you know how sometimes a letter might come up or down, or the spacing might be off, but you know, between the letters, the spacing on the letters are identical. Okay, mm -hmm. and you can actually see the ninety-degree right angles in the S's and the T's and stuff like that. And then you can also see the pixel marks, as because you, you, know you know how you make a like let's say the letter U or an S. Okay, mm -hmm. you're going to have a ninety-degree angle at, at the corners, you know, for the S's because you know that 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 makes the end. And so you're going to get a straight line to make the top, and then to make the curves, they use it uses separate pixels to form the round edges. What you're saying, yep. Al, is if if Obama were uh, simply a regular citizen and he was under investigation for a criminal act, any good criminal investigator, this would be a slam dunk to put this guy in prison. He couldn't make bail. He couldn't make bail. <laughs> Listen, Obama couldn't get a job as a janitor in a federal building or a defense contractor. And no, it would it would it would be impossible. Now, as a now, as a community organizer, yeah. Okay. That's the people who, I live for. Who, who do you think this guy is? Is is 
is he just a common street hustler who's jive talked his way into the White House? Is he um, is he uh, um, is he part of the Chicago mafia? Is he no. is he a no. foreign plant? No. Who is he? I kind of feel sorry for him, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. Uh, it, it, look at the way that look at the way that this man grew up. Okay. Um, You're saying he doesn't goes, know anything else goes, other than lying? That's about the extent of it. Um, look at his mother. Okay. She had her own. She had her own social philosophy on, you know, on social socialism or personal. Yeah, it's called communism. communism. Right. And um, and his father was the same. I mean, you know, they, they met in the 60s, you know, and you know, whatever college that they were going to. I'm not even know what college they went to. And, um, you know, so she looked at, at his father, you know, from the standpoint of, well, you know, he thinks like I do, you know, I'm radical and, you know, let me go and do this and I'm going to hook up with this guy. I like him. Okay, and obviously, you know, Barack Obama's daddy, you know, he said, oh, you know, she's good looking, I'm going to hook up with her. You know, that's basically what happened. And then you, then, you, then Barack Obama's born, you know, and, and, oh, and I've dispelled the rumor that he's not a Cuban or anything like that. He's, you know, he was born by Barack Obama Sr. and his mama, okay? And, um, but the thing is, though, this is what I think happened, okay? She followed, she went to Africa with him to visit his family, okay? Oh, Brock was born over there. They come back here. They go through all the rigmarole and paperwork to, you know, they say that he was born here because when she left, remember back in the 60s, whenever you left in the United States for a period of time, when you came back, you started proving you were an American. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you see what I'm saying? Sure. Mm -hmm. You had started to prove that you're an American. So well, that was a thing that they were having them to do. You know, was 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 proved that they were that she was an American and her son was an American, but everybody knows that his father, Barack Obama Senior, was a British national because at the time Britain, uh, Kenya was actually what was it a colony of, of Great that, Britain? That's right. And World Now Daily has brought out through uh, Dr. Jerome Corsi that uh, you know back in the '60s the U.S. State Department Immigration Office. Uh, had questions about Barack Obama Sr. Uh, they said oh, they don't know how many. That. They didn't know how many wives he had. They, they, um, Harvard wanted him booted out of the country because of his polygamy, because of his uh, uh, lack of financial support, because the questions about Barack Hussein Obama. So you're saying he's the son of a liar? Yes, and that remember though, but that's all he knows. So he's growing up without parents, you know, having to rely on on his grandparents. You know, God, you know, God rest their souls. And um, so, who was so who was who was who was his mentor in Hawaii? A communist, right? Marshall so, Davis. I, See, I think Al, I think you're being too nice on the guy. I think the guy's a communist plant. I think he was put here to preside over the destruction of the Constitutional Republic. This is why the founding fathers wisely said that a president had to be a natural-born citizen because the Founding Fathers actually feared that a foreign king would plant a young person in this country for the purpose of taking over the country. That was not a conspiracy theory to the Founding Fathers. They feared it. And, and, and I believe that's exactly what is taking place with Barack Obama. Hussein Obama. I was, scared. I was scared half to death of what I found. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I was scared. Oh, this is deep. Uh, this is deep. This 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 this, this man did not do this case. by himself. He didn't come up with all these lies by himself. His his. Uh, he was taught. He was taught, but he's he's still being assisted. This Weinberg, this law firm. Come on, these people are involved in this cover up. There yes, there are sir. a lot of people who ought to go to prison. I mean, this this well, is a this is a deep, deep criminal conspiracy that's that's underway and's been underway for many years to conceal the identity of this man who goes by the name Barack Hussein Obama. He is a criminal. He is a fraud. 
He is, There's no doubt about it. He's, he's committed real estate fraud and tax fraud, not to mention the ethics violations that, that he's committed by having a, a, a contributor as a registered owner or, you know, or one that shows up. Even if, it's, even if they show up as an owner of the property, that is still – that is still a, 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 an impropriety. Um, Al, I wish I had another half hour to keep this going. I'm, I'm out of time. Oh, we've been talking for 30 minutes? Okay. Well, we have gone. I, I, this is, this is uh, incredible information. I would love to have you back. Um, you and I will stay in touch. Uh, I, I am not going to let go of this guy. I'm going to stay on it until the Mac Daddy is uh, in prison. He needs do you to want go. Me, do you want me to send you the addresses that I got for him in yes. all over the country? Just hang on, hang on the phone, and you and I, I'll exchange uh, uh, my private cell number with you, uh, email address, and things. We're going to stay in touch with you. We're going to, I'm going to stay on this until this this uh, criminal is handcuffed you, and in prison. You, just be sitting down when you when you when you look at what I have. Okay, don't don't read it standing up. Don't be drinking anything or eating anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. 